There are two possibilities when we're looking at finding the horizontal asymptotes. First of all, we want to find the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. This allows us to determine whether or not the function is proper or improper and equal. So if we have a proper rational function, the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then the line y equals zero is our horizontal asymptote. That's the easy one. Everyone likes that. If the function is improper and the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, so we want that improper equal, then the horizontal asymptote is the ratio of the leading coefficients. Let's look at some examples. So the g of x, we see that the degree of the numerator is 2, the degree of the denominator is 2. That means they are equal. This is an improper function and equal. We said if it's improper and equal, then we're looking at the ratio of the leading coefficients. Well, the leading coefficient in the numerator is 1. The leading coefficient of the denominator is 1. So we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 1 over 1, or just 1. In the second example, we see that the degree of the numerator is 1, the degree of the denominator is 2. This is a proper rational function, and we were told that if we have a proper function, then y equals 0 is our asymptote. In the third example, the degree of the numerator is 4, the degree of the denominator is 2. This is improper, but not equal. So that means there is no horizontal asymptote. Determine the asymptotes, if there are any, for the next three. I think I gave you four of them. Let's see how you did. In the h of x, we had a proper function. That means our horizontal asymptote is the line y equals zero. That's true for the g of x as well. For the f of x here, we had an improper but equal rational function. So we're looking at the ratio of the leading coefficients, y equals three over nine, but of course you would simplify that. And then finally, we have an improper function. The degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. That means there is no horizontal asymptote. So whenever the degree of the, numera of the numerator is more, whenever the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote. Go through those once more if you need to review them.